Hi guys, I hope that you're very well. It's Silvana here. Welcome back to the Jewels and Gems YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we'll be talking about Unakite. Yes, Unakite is this beautiful stone. It's kind of a mix between green and kind of a reddish pink color. Uh, I'm, of course, as always, I'm going to show you uh, some um, Unakai just to give you a bit of an idea as to how it looks and we're going to talk about everything you guys need to know right now to make sure that you are an expert about Unakite. Uh, so first of all I think the important thing to mention about Unakite is that uh, it is a type of jasper. It belongs to the jasper family of minerals. Uh, just like we are familiar with red jasper, bumblebee jasper, and so many more out there. Uh, the first thing I would say about Unakite, before I even show it to you, is that it is quite a powerful stone in the sense that it carries an energy that's um, very, very strong in many ways. So I'm just going to show it to you first so you can guys have a bit of an idea. So this is Unakite. So you can see this one here, you can really see the mix of colors. It's really beautiful and unusual. You see this one has a bit more red. This one's a bit more green. So you can see you can have different types, but they both are the same stone. But you can see it by the colors that it kind of is the same. Um, I don't have any piece of jewelry to show you in Unakite yet because I'm expecting to get some soon uh, that we're going to add to the website. Uh, we have some very beautiful Unakite jewelry pieces coming. Uh, so that's very exciting with big, juicy, beautiful um, Unakite stones in it. So Unakite is great for anything related to emotions. I'm going to tell you straight away. This is a wonderful crystal for all things heart chakra related because it's going to help you to deal with the more soothing, calming and lovely sides of the heart chakra, but also the bolder sides, the sides of the heart chakra that maybe need and deserve more healing, more work and, uh, you know, really working on that emotional self with the spiritual and the mental self combined uh, so that means that it's really going to help you to really clear away any emotional energy blockages you may have from for example um, recent experiences but it can also be a uh, childhood experience uh, you know we're talking about here inner child healing uh, any type of trauma coming from that period but also anything related to age regression past life regression all those things uh, because it's all about combining the two both the physical and the emotional healing in a powerful way and really focus on self-growth and and allow you to develop a confidence within yourself uh, that you are capable to really make the most out of your life and to really live in the here and now in the present and be more grounded, be more centered, and make sure that you are fully in the present moment, making the most out of it, really, you know, because there's nothing we can really do about the past. The past is gone, the past is over. Now we can only focus on what is it that we can do here and now to heal ourselves in order to allow ourselves to grow and expand. Uh, so definitely great for, um, also self-love you can see there straight away that's what comes up straight away to my mind is that importance of working with self-love when we think about unakite it's beautiful that way it's all about accepting um, what you might perceive as being imperfections anything that you might not necessarily like about yourself or about your life about your surroundings your environment Unakite is here to encourage you to see the positive in those elements, even though at first you might not be able to see them. And that means you are promoting love in all its aspects. And, uh, you know, that means also impacting your environment. As we said, look, seeing love, 
like seeing beauty everywhere and that can also mean that you're spreading that beautiful loving energy to the people in your life not just yourself so overall really it is a powerful crystal of unconditional love i'm gonna say something that might shock or might not necessarily please everybody but unakite is by far a more powerful crystal of unconditional love than rose quartz rose quartz is wonderful don't get me wrong but if you're looking for something powerful if you're someone that went through a lot of hardship in your life and now you really want to focus on that sense of unconditional love this is going to be the perfect stone for you guys this crystal here is much more powerful in the sense that um you know it's really about uh, compassion, connection, peace, and bringing people together, whereas rose quartz might be love more so, like love for yourself. This unakite also promotes, you know, love in your relationships and the people in your life as well get involved in the process. And that's what I love unakite for too. And, uh, you know, it's, it's great. So that means it's great for the heart chakra, as we said, but obviously it can also resonate somehow with the third eye because it really opens up to that sense of inner growth, not just the love and the self-love and the healing of the heart, but also pushing that even further uh, so tapping into that third eye for, you know, working on that inner growth, that subconscious reprogramming and, you know, allowing you to heal and push yourself towards, you know, growth and expansion. And, uh, you know, that would be, that would be my main, my main, um, idea about you know why i personally loved love unakite so much uh so you can see it combines the very gentleness of the pink slash red heart chakra energy which is as we said rose quartz that very gentle energy that's very easy very nurturing uh very beautiful but at the same time the green of the heart chakra which is a little bit more powerful a little bit more masculine than the pink, which is more feminine side of the heart chakra. So you can see how it balances out the two. It promotes abundance. Uh, you know, it's great for, as we said, kindness, compassion, love, uh, really balancing and harmonizing those emotions within you uh, to also allow yourself to, to keep going, that whatever those difficulties you are going through, whatever's holding you back, that you guys are fully able to keep going, to push yourself to make it through the end and see the light at the end of the tunnel. And uh, that means Unakad will work also work with that sense of resilience, determination and patience and mindfulness. And, you know, any feeling that might that might be overwhelming, that might be hard to deal with, uh, that might disturb you in some ways, it's really going to allow yourself to um, get away from that and not to focus on it. And uh, that's why, again, great for any type of toxic behaviors. Uh, you know, if you're someone that's healing from that and you're trying to look for crystals associated with healing any type of addictive behaviors uh, or addictive, um, you know, mi mindsets, you know, anything that's not really putting you in, in the, you know, at your highest, best level, definitely Unakite is great. Toxic relationships definitely uh, again i would definitely recommend working with unakite and uh, you know anything like that that creates emotional stress in general really uh, so yeah definitely emotional balance and harmony encaps encapsulated in a crystal so that's very much what unakite is all about so that means as we as we said because i want to make sure we cover everything so as we said chakra side is going to be hard but also i feel the third eye is also very much so related to uh, unakite to be honest in my opinion and another thing i would say is in terms of the zodiac signs associated with unakite i would say obviously you can already tell straight away we're talking about unakite because 
it's area season so first of all areas will benefit a lot from unakite jasper uh, because it's very much so about that sense of progress balance and nurturing energy uh, that um, areas needs because they're very powerful full of energy but sometimes they can be so full of energy that they can hit a wall at some point and just go into you know uh, burnout you know and that is not good so having a crystal like like um, like unakai jasper will really work on that sense of trying to keep a certain harmony with your emotions i mean they are powerful but also sometimes driven by their emotions because they're so willing to do so much so you can see how areas my areas friends out there might want to look into a little bit of of unakai jasper to uh, to help them be a little bit more balanced in that area uh, another sign that would benefit a lot from it you can see straight away i mean who is the sign in the zodiac that's all about deep emotions <laughs> i mean it's kind of scorpio isn't it i mean scorpio very much so are into that sense of depth in all aspects of their life so you know they they're not afraid to dive deep but at the same time they need to be uh you know supported and they need that sense of nurturing energy and balancing energy so you can see how unakad would work very well for them uh, other options would be definitely gemini Gemini would benefit greatly from a little bit of Unakai Jasper. And last but not least, I would definitely say Libra, obviously, because we've talked about the relationships and how it involves not just yourself, but also other people. So definitely these four would benefit greatly from working with Unakai Jasper. Uh, of course, if you don't have any of those signs in your birth chart, guys, as always, it does not matter. This is just a suggestion. Uh, you know, you can go for it as long as you feel that the energy of this crystal resonates with yours and that it suits you. You know, everything it embodies suits you. That's the most important right now. So yeah, I think we've covered pretty much everything you guys need to know about the beautiful Unakai Jasper. As I said earlier, uh, we have some Unakai Jasper on the website. You can check that out. But we are expecting some beautiful pieces of jewelry coming. I'm not sure exactly when. Uh, but uh, whenever we do, I'll make sure to let you guys know uh, on, um, you know, uh, via our mailing list, the Jews and Gems VIP Club. Make sure you join the VIP Club. There should be a link in the description box. This way you'll be the first one to know when Unakai Jasper is available uh, in jewelry. It's going to be 9 to 5 silver, so it's going to be really nice. And, uh, you know, and, and so much more. You can also check more. There's so much stuff in my description boxes. So, Feel free to have a look. And yeah, let me know, guys, how did that resonate with you? What do you think about Unakai Jasper? Is it a stone? Is it a crystal that you guys already knew about? Or is it a new one for you? I would love to hear from you guys. Make sure you let me know. Uh, also, please give this video a big thumbs up. That would be amazing. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I will be talking to you soon. See you guys.